What is up, peeps? It's following TCG. I'd like to welcome you back to another YouTube video. And we do have some more PTCG online gameplay for you today. And as I promised yesterday, we are going to be going into a Lorantis GX deck. Um, this is the reason why I actually got the Lorantis promo card, was looking at Lorantis GX and going, hang on, we got Ditto Prism Star now. I'm sure we can incorporate Lorantis GX and, Lor and Lorantis promo a lot better together now, um, considering that we have effectively five Fomantis, correct? So... Um, with that said, I thought, hang on, it could be a lot more viable now, and it should be a lot easier to get our, our Lorantis and uh, Lorantis GXs out. So I thought, yeah, it'd be a really good shout to Blue try two. it out and see. Yep, yeah, Bluetooth. Two four. Yeah, sure, I'll have connection. Let me turn it off. Um, so I thought, Power do you know what? Off. This is a pretty interesting concept with the likes of Lost Thunder. Um, so I wanted to try it out and see how it goes, especially the things like Life Forest and things like that. It's really interesting. Um, just enough said, right? <laughs> uh, let's see how it goes. I don't know what we're up against here, and we're just sitting here waiting for the game to load. So I'm against a dark deck. Is it Zorak? I don't know. Um, we have to find out. I swear to God, if it's some crazy Guzzlord deck or something, the amount of like weird decks I've been playing against today is just it's it's crazy. I came up against a it was a deck that just had a ton of different GX Pokemon, and there was no cohesion. It was just a ton of GX, a ton of different energy. It had like a Glaceon, and then it had a, a, a Sylveon, and then it had a, a load of Ninetales GX, uh, the Water one, and then it had a, like a Gardevoir, and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> um, hopefully that's not going to happen here. Uh, this looks like a pretty good turn one. We do have um, Elm's Lecture, which is the card we want to play on turn one. However, the, the following issue here is we don't have a turn two supporter um which doesn't look too good so fingers crossed fingers crossed we have a turn two supporter um i will be uploading uh maybe a pack opening video soon um, or something a little different i think i want to uh, again just have a little refresher on the channel do something a little different i think it's it's nice and easy to record these videos and it's great making these decks and it's fun um but i want to make sure that there's something refreshing on the channel every now and then because if you do the same thing over and over again even though the concepts themselves are unique doing the same style of video over and over again can become stale so i want to make sure i keep things fresh on the channel so um you know you know we can just have some fun <laughs> in different ways rather than just one um and i know you guys do want some more um actually uh, pokemon product openings and stuff so um i'll go to my local card shop soon and see if i can get something going there that'd be really nice it is quite tough because i have to consider christmas as well as coming up i've got quite a big family i need to make sure i get more gifts and stuff so um i'll just have to juggle around and see what i can do anyway let's get this elms lecture out and uh, we will go for a, I think, a Ditto Prism Star, Fermantis, Fermantis. Well, I don't think we have to go for Ditto Prism Star. If we've got three Fermantis. We're just going to go three Fermantis and just roll with it like that. And bench them. Oh, I'd could. I'd rather bench one. Um, thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, because if, if we don't top... Yeah, I'd rather save a bench space is what I meant to say. Because if we don't top deck a... Raw supporter next turn, then are we getting knocked out potentially? So yeah, if we don't draw a, a draw supporter next turn, then um, we we can at least ultra ball for a, a second lele, which is not ideal, but uh, sometimes you just got to do it. Lele is going to be very weird in the future. I think it's a card that will one it will definitely drop down in price in my opinion. As soon as that Dragonite comes out, um, lele will drop in price, and it will see less play. Also, with Jirachi coming out as well soon, I think Lele will dip in play, um, especially with Tag Team. Um, with Tag Team, it's just, if you look at Tag Team, um, Zekrom, Pikachu, being able to do 170 to, the ben 170 to the bench, come on, we know why that's there. Lele, all right, that's just punishing you for playing Lele. 170 is such a specific number for a tag team GX Pokemon to just be like, all right, yeah, use this GX. Oh, by the way, and actually, if you have six G six energy on it, just knock out a Lele. Why not take four prizes in one turn? Um, and no, thank you. I don't think we want that. And it depends on how good tag team GX Pokemon are. If they are viable, then Lele is going to be very risky. Very risky. Even now, Lele is considered to be quite risky. Uh, with the likes of Blacephalon and big one-shot decks hanging out, you know, doing whatever, um, and just destroying the format. Even now, playing Lele is a bit iffy. Um, but oh, if these tag team GX are viable, then playing a, a Lele as well is super sketchy. So, with that said, um, oh, yes, nice, nice, nice. So, I'm actually going to Ultra Ball the 
I don't want to archibald the rescue stretcher. But I want to keep the Lorantis. Because I want to do some extra damage. I think we're just going to have to, yeah, get rid of the Fermantis and the rescue stretcher. Which isn't great because we've just got two Fermantises now in the discard pile. Which isn't great. Um... No, it's not ideal. But either way, I'm going for the greedy play. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go for this, Lily. So, yeah, Jirachi, I think, is going to be really good. Because Jirachi is, is a really, really fantastic card. Um, and I'll, I'll let you know why. Let me just use my noggin here. I could go for my GX attack. But is there really any point? I uh, think, think, think. I think we're going to just attach to the active and then go for flower supply and just charge up for next turn. We can follow up with our GX attack if we want. So this is why I think Lorantis is, is, is in a good spot because it's easier to get your Lorantis promos out. Um, and with that said, you can your, your flower supply attack can do some pretty good poke damage at the start. It can do some good damage overall with Lorantis promo um, and get energy into play on the, at the same time. And then Solar Blade, um, we're now doing 170 with the choice band. Um, every single turn plus heal um, it just has the recipe of a very nice deck and uh, a very consistent one so fingers crossed uh, we definitely showcase how good Lorantis GX is nowadays obviously Blacephalon will ruin this deck I mean by any means that's the only thing that would hold this back in my opinion is just oh Lorantis uh, no Blacephalon and, and when Lorantis came out people were like this is going to be good but what screw it Volcanian Volcanian just went nope don't care we're knocking you out we're winning so having such a weakness is quite crazy so if you want to you could do a Lorantis GX deck where you play a Sceptile line just so you cover the Blacephalon matchup but it makes it a bit more awkward um, but you could do that you could do that and I think that might be the way forward for Lorantis is to have a Sceptile line um, plus it makes it a lot more consistent with Grovile. Grovile is a fantastic way of searching out grass Pokemon um, and setting your board state up without relying on finding nest balls net balls and uh, ultra balls right so if you have Grovar plus Ultra Balls, setting up should never really be a problem. Um, so I guess you could do the alternative variant rather than playing what I'm doing, which is a Zeb Striker. Um, something to consider. Anyway, we hit 170, so we are taking out this bad boy here. I said God's Lord, and here it is, just hanging about, waiting to take a KO. <laughs> That's very interesting. Um, I kind of want to play a Cynthia. We need to stabilize our ball position a lot more. So we're going to play the Cynthia. I just want to have a hit as a striker or just uh, a, a Fermantis or something. And we, we did hit the... Uh, the well, we have to get a Ditto, not a Fermantis. Uh, we could bench the Delmise, but there's no real point thinking about it now. Um, they're not going to one-hit KO us, are they? So, I think, uh, to be fair, I think this Delmise could be a good shout, actually. Looking at it now, we could go for that. Let's go for the Acrobike, see what we pull. Uh, great ball. So, this was my little inclusion, although I kind of prefer the choice band. Oh, greedy play or non-greedy play? Non-greedy play. Non greedy pay. <laughs> uh, I kind of, I kind of really wanted that choice band, but we can great ball. Oh, Lele, there we go. So we can get a nice support next turn if we do feel so inclined. Um, I think we just bench the Delmise. I think that's just comfortable play. So at least we can confirm an attack next turn, um, even if it's not the best one. We'll go for Solar Blade and just heal ourselves off here. So I'll just seventy damage and plus thirty heal. I mean, come on, why is this not? Well, we know why Blacephalon, but other than that, why is this not C in play? It's a just, it's a good GX, it's solid, it's got a decent GX attack, got a great first attack, got a, a decent uh, main attack as it were, which is not too hard to get up because of the first attack. It just has a really good recipe. It's a really good, really good deck nonetheless. Um, especially with Lorantis promo, and now we have Ditto Prism Stars. So I know I'm re really repeating myself, but you're seeing here, this deck is good. It's good, it's tanky, it can hit good damage, it's just everything you want in a deck so um i hope someone picks up the rantage and just goes go all out let's see how good this can be and uh, does you know at least gets like a top a top uh, 32 or something in the tournament just to see that there would be really fascinating because again the rantage is that one card everyone looked at and went i mean it should be good why is it not <laughs> um that's pretty much what everyone saw when they when when they looked at the rantage. but um i still vouch for Lorantis. i think it is a good gx card and i think it's underrated now just because people saw it at the start and went, da, ah, not good. Um, so now people are not even going to consider it because it was just deemed as not good in the early days, right? Um, if Blacephalon didn't exist, then I think someone would definitely take a look. But then you have Sceptile. It's just there's, there's ways. There's ways. Anyway, 
that is just my little rant on Lorantis. I think it's a good deck, and I think it should be played. I think it is something that can be tier one, hands down. Uh, this is a very interesting list, nonetheless. Um, I kind of like the concept of Eat Sloppily with Macargo, but you're only guaranteeing one energy attachment extra. Um, so you're only guaranteeing one energy attachment overall with Eat Sloppily. Plus, Eat Sloppily just leaves you in the active, which is bad. Ah, Beast Ring, of course. Um, I remember looking at Beast Ring and going, Oh! Gosselord! <laughs> but then, even then, it's just insane. Although, tell a lie, they just need a DCE and they've, they've got their uh, their bad boy ready to go, which is not the case here. And uh, just because we were able to heal ourselves... No, no, I was about to say, because we are able to heal, we survive, but we don't because they're hitting 120, uh, which in perfect mass, I think, adds up to 210 here. So, unfortunately, that 30 did not uh, stop it. If I'm correct, if my mathematics is on point, it is indeed 210. 210, yeah, yeah. I'm not bad at maths, let me know. <laughs> We're just gonna have to come in with the Delmise, hopefully get a Grass Energy and just roll with it. I mean, I'm kind of comfortable with that. Uh, I'd, I would prefer to have a, we'll go for a Lily and then we'll actually Zeb Striker and get rid of, yeah, in fact, I kind of want all these in the discard pile. The Lele I don't, the Guzma I don't, but I don't mind chucking these guys in the discard pile just for some, some more stuff. Yes, there we go, Choice Ban and Another Lorantis, that's good news. So we can Giga Drain here for some decent damage, actually. Um, which is pretty nice. 80 damage there. Just one more energy, and we can actually start hitting some big numbers again. We can go for a 180. Um, just because of that Lorantis. So, fingers crossed, they don't KO us. But uh, they just, all they need, really, is... They've played a lot of switches, so they would need another switch. Which is unlikely. I doubt they would have three. But they need another switch... Um, and a DCE or a Guzma and a DCE. The, the Beast Energy makes them immediately hit. Well, actually, they've got, they've got Zorak Macargo. They get whatever they want during their turn. But they can Guzma up my, my Lorantis and um, attach a DCE. And then they just get the KO because the Beast Energy makes them hit 210 every single turn with this Guzzlord. So I like this concept. It is really interesting actually seeing this, especially with the likes of Beast Ring. Um, although it's still very hard to get this up, it has a reward. Oh, they didn't get it. They didn't get it. No. I just kind of want to see the Guzzlord come out. I really want to see this. Um, they don't have another Zorak to follow up off a second Macargo, so they, they can only get the one card. So they need... They just need DCE and Guzma. Oh, they're going to go for the Beast Ring. Okay. So they definitely... I mean, there's still potential. No energy. I was about to say. I was about to go. No energy. Are you insane? Um, they need a Guzma. They need a Guzma. And they probably whiffed on the Guzma. So. No, they didn't. So why why are you doing a sad face? Why? I feel, I feel cheated. What? You could take two prizes. Oh, my God. They gluttoned. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, GG. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. I've never seen that before, and I'm, I'm stunned. Even, I, I couldn't predict that. That was not predictable. We'll go for another one. We're going for another one. Fingers crossed my battery doesn't run out. I will leave the face cam on, and I'm giving you the warning now. Um, my, my, the, the face cam might actually run out, because um, obviously I'm using my phone. It only has a certain amount of memory, um, and it records in very large um, memory, unfortunately, uh, on my phone. I don't know why, but... That's the way it is, and that's the way cookie crumbles. Um, so yeah, it may run out, but I'm just going to keep rolling. And if it does, I'll, I'll, I'll still upload this video because I think that that was fascinating. Just seeing that was awesome. Now, I could actually start with the Verizian, and I kind of want to. Uh, because the reason why I've teched in Verizian is not only because it can do the extra damage of Lorantia, Sensitive Blade's a good attack, his GX attack is good, but also Double Draw. Double Draw is just the perfect turn one um, thing. Now, I know I don't need it, obviously, because we have a Cynthia after the Professor Elms lecture, but hey... Cannot complain. So we're going to uh, Elm's Lecture here for just four foam, a free Fomantis and just get them all down, I think. I think we're just going to go ham here and just play no games. We're just going to... Uh, well, we don't actually. We only have that. So we'll just get the Ditto. And that's okay, actually, because we can evolve the Ditto into a Zev Striker if we feel like we need to. Um, however, I would rather evolve that Ditto into a, a, a Lorantis. I'm just going to be, uh, be be real there. Uh, and I'm just attaching energy, and I think we just pass. Obviously, I can't attack. What am I doing? Um, and pass. Yeah, plus, um, Verizon GX just got the singular, singular Retreat. It's a good tech Pokemon, in my opinion. It, well, if you check yesterday's video... Is it yesterday's video? I think it was yesterday's video. Yeah, if you check yesterday's video... Um, uh, you just just go to my channel and you'll see it there. Maybe even on the recommended. But I'll try to remember to put a card annotation on the top uh, right-hand side of the screen. If it is there, um, then you can take a look. 
And it's actually pretty interesting because... Oh, we get a choice ban here. We get a knockout, right? Yeah, we need a choice ban. Oh, give me a choice ban. Give me a choice ban, please. I'm actually going to ultra ball away this just to thin. Uh, I know. <laughs> well, actually, I don't think I need a choice ban. I think I just need another Lorantis, right? We're hitting 130 on a sensitive blade. And then 20, that's one... Uh, 150. Oh my god, we got knockout. We got knockout just because of this Lorantis. Ah, <laughs> two prizes. But yeah, if you check yesterday's video, I, I, I showcased Verizian and how good Verizian can be as well. Um, so uh, yeah, look at this. We, I'm not even gonna not even gonna attach the choice band. I'm not gonna do it because I don't know what's coming up next, and this Verizian could go down. Now I'm gonna nest ball here. Am I? Am, is that a good idea, Sean? No, it's not. It's not. Yes, you can get a Zeb Strike, but. We have no draw support next turn. A Lele would be uh, more important. Right, Sensitive Blade for a one-hit KO on a Tarpu Lele GX. Just mwah. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Ah, Zep Striker. Uh, so maybe I should have Nest Board. But I think it was the safer play to not, just in case we, we hit a Lele. Nonetheless, that's perfectly fine. We played two Ultra Balls, so getting our energy in a discard pile is going to be a bit of an issue. Um, and we would prefer it to be in a discard pile because there's a very high odd... Uh, well, I was going to say very high odds, but they just judge, so I don't know. I think it's very low odds now that they're actually going to be able to follow up here and knock out this Verizian. Oh my god, well, we've just we've just got a game. <laughs> we just have game. I think this is uh, this is pretty pretty mad. This is pretty mad. Uh, yeah, we have to play we have to play this uh, Lily to be able to knock them out. So I wasn't trying to slow roll them or anything. That'd be a bit bit of a bad move to do right we'll go for one more so this has just been crazy we've seen a, a, a just a, a complete glutton gx for game we've had uh, we played a guard of our gx which is just dead drew and they had to play a judge um and verizian just took the forefront there um oh i love this deck i love this deck and as we bet this video is quite entertaining um i'm just still like in awe of seeing that that glutton gx actually work you know and that's pretty interesting Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a potential Guzzlord deck out there. Guzzlord Zorak. You never knew. Uh, right, let's just get the Fermatus in the active. Not too ideal, but it is a Lorantis GX deck, so I'm not going to complain. Usually you want the Verizian out just to do the double draw and just attack early on. Hey, can't complain. Are we playing against... I saw... Did I see a Fermatus there? I saw a Shrine deck. Oh, no. Is this Executor? <laughs> do not Executor me. No, no, do not do that. I don't like Executor. It's Executor, isn't it? We're playing Executor. Mm-hmm, 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 yeah. Ouch. Mm. Ah. Why, why are people playing the 40 HP Execute? I kind of... I was about to say Fairy Energy, obviously. Um, I understand it's Multiply Attack, but if I just throw my two cents here, I know uh, ex ex Executor plays a Sceptile line, and what do you use in a Sceptile line? You use Trico, right? So... So Trico, it's just because they got a Trico. They use Grovile. So if you're using a Grovile, which has Pokemon Search every single turn, you shouldn't really need this. Yes, I guess it gives you the added bonus, but you just shouldn't need it, in my opinion. But that's just that's just my uh, my two cents. There is just although it's 10 HP difference, what deck is going crazy right now? Decidueye, Decidueye, Zorak, Ninetales. I think that was the most common deck in like the top eight. Um, or the most recent regional championship. So that deck is on fire. So you don't want to be playing 40 XP, uh, 40 HP execute because Decidueye, just two Decidueye in play, gone. And that's just a free prize every single turn. So I think playing the 50 is a very, very crucial thing um, when it comes to it. And that, that's why, you know, uh, people prefer to play the 70 HP Rockcraft over the 60. Even though 60 has a better attack, just a 10 HP difference can make a huge difference. It's a, it's a big deal. Very big deal. So, um, if you're going to play Executor, my strong recommendation isn't isn't to go for this one. Uh, this Execute is just the, the wrong one to play, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, that's just my little rant on <laughs> the little few arts today, aren't I? Uh, on that. Now, I don't want to bench this Lele because of the Shrine, but we need to set up. This deck is very quick. Um, Executor, so we need to just, you know, keep up with it all. And probably get ourselves a Fermantis, Fermantis Ditto, I think. We'll do that. The Ditto just gives us an alternative option if we need it. And that's why I like the Ditto Prism Stone. Our 40 HP is also pretty bad. We prefer it over the 60. But win some, lose some. Uh, now, they could potentially KO us next turn. Uh, but I'm fine attaching to the active and actually going for a Synthesis here. Uh, because what that can do is if we do get KO'd, all we need to find is a Grass Energy. Um, and then we can, we can just 
attach it to another Fermentus, a Volmatil Arantis GX if we get that. Um, and then we can actually recharge these energy back into play. So it shouldn't be too problematic if this does get KO'd. So yeah, here's the Grove Art. Now they can just search out for whatever they want. Now, them playing the 40 HP execute doesn't make a difference here. Um, wait, is that the wrong way? No, HP 60, HP 40. I, I, I wonder, I, do you know, I, I wonder, I wonder if it used to be number and then HP on the card rather than HP and then number. I don't know if I'm just overthinking things. But anyway, playing 40 HP execute in this deck is not that big a deal against us because we're not sniping. So it's not that big a deal. Um, but still. I'd say be careful <laughs> because all you need to all you need to do is come up against the city and you're like, well, okay, game over. <laughs> uh, you can just never set up, uh, especially with how fast the city wide nine tails sets up. It sets up so quickly, um, it's ridiculous. Okay, so they got the shuckle. Yeah, odds are they've got a knockout in this for Mantis, and I, I was prepared for that. That's perfectly fine. We'll just have to roll with it. Now the awkward part here is we do play Life Forest, but that's gonna help them as well. So I kind of don't want to play it. So that's just the way it is. Oh, two seconds. All right, uh, my son was calling me. Don't worry. <laughs> um, right. So what's he gone? Nothing happened. It, he just went for a good old fresh squeezed. Is it fresh squeezed? Is that is, that, is that actually what it's called? Fresh squeezed. I didn't know that was the uh, the name. All right, yeah, so they've, they've got a knockout in this for Mantis, which is far from ideal, but nonetheless, we just keep on trooping here. Now, they don't have their for Mantis out, so if they don't get... Well, actually, no, I think they're two-shotting us anyway because they're hitting 120, 120. Even if we heal off 30 damage in between with our Lorantis, then they're still getting the KO because 120 plus 90 is 210. So I guess that's a bit awkward considering that. Uh, the Rantis can't hold up in that sense. Nonetheless, we keep on trooping. Let's go, let's go, let's go. A uh, hand full of supporters here. Uh, just going to roll out a Cynthia. Um, we, this deck does play quite a thick uh, supporter line. Um, and, well, this is what can happen because of it, unfortunately. We're just sitting here now with nothing to go with. Uh, let's great ball, see what we pull. Oh, we get a striker. Now, I kind of, yeah, I kind of want to get this of striker because this, uh, this bad boy is going down. And it's just, just got to let it happen, unfortunately. So we'll let them take out this Fermantis. And it looks like just by falling this far behind already, that we're just going to lose, unfortunately. Um, just simply because that they, they've set up so well. Uh, so we're just going to roll with it there. And that's perfectly fine. Executor is a great deck. It sets up extremely well. And I guess the big flaw with Lorantis now, thinking about it, is that if, like, if, if you're playing against a two-shot deck, you can't necessarily tank too well. Um, I mean, you could, if you, you could play bodybuilding dumbbells. I mean, if you really want to go down the route of tankiness, but I mean, maybe, maybe dumbbells might be the way. Maybe so, because it stops you from being too shotted a, a lot easier, I guess. And on top of that, um, you're usually two shotting and we play Lorantis promo. So you're still doing decent damage. It's just the choice band can make a big difference. Like you saw in the last game. Um, well, we did actually use a choice spam. He's a Lorantis. But let's say if we didn't find the Lorantis, the choice spam would have given us a knockout on that Lele GX with Verizian. Um, and it can, yeah, Lorantis can hit 190 with uh, two Lorantis promos and a choice band, if I'm correct. Um, and that's a very big deal. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's keep rolling here. Uh, I kind of just want to attach energy to the active. We just have to do that. Evolve the Seb Striker and just a mill, and that's bad. But we kind of have to. I, I don't need to cruise him up the Grove Isle, no. Yeah, we just have to sprint here. We just... Like, Goose Ring's going to do nothing for us. We could try and stick him in the active, but that just seems bad. Uh, Acro Bike, see what you get me. Life Forest? No, we're definitely not playing Life Forest. Um, now, we could Ultra Ball this and then get a Fermantis G... Uh, sorry, Lorantis GX and then go for a Cynthia play, or... Or the latter, go for the Lily. I think the Lily... Oh, I don't think it makes a difference then, thinking about it. Uh, but it's a bit greedy. I think we just go for the, the Lily and then Ultra Ball afterwards. So we have a supporter next turn. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. So let's do that. Uh, get rid of the Acro Bike or the Energy. I think we get rid of the Acro Bike. Um, because I want to hold that Energy in hand for attachment next turn. Let's do that. Is it attach... Oh, it's attached to basic Energy. I did not know that. Hey... 
the more you know, eh? Uh, all right, flower supply here. We can just charge up our Lorantis GX. And um, so it's attached to events so you can discard to any Pokemon you want. There we go, sweet. So we'll actually charge up Lorantis GX. I don't think they got the KO on this. And we can actually go for a GX attack next turn if we want to. However, that's not really necessary with this alone executor in the active, considering we are KOing it regardless. Hitting a nice 140. Um, if we find a way, just find a way to get another Lorantis promo out, we will be actually be hitting... Um, a very, very comfortable 160 damage with our Solar Blade, um, which means we can be one-shotting Elodin Executors, which the, the big thing about Elodin Executor is it has 160 HP. That's the big thing. It's like, it's super tough to KO. It's the difference between the Heracross I showed you and this Elodin Executor. It's just 160 HP. It's a tank, and um, that's a really big deal. Um, so if we manage to overcome that and go for the one shots here for their executors Then that'd be a really 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 good thing But the problem is is we're just a bit too far behind in my opinion We need a better board state um, because this Lorantis GX is going to go down um, After one more attack next turn regardless. Maybe I could have held the life forest in my hand, but I'm not too sure there. I think we had to acro bike. I don't know what we pulled We had to be acro bike and we got something or a life forest um Maybe I should have taken the life forest unless whatever I took was critical for that turn um, But that life forest could have been helpful in just keeping us alive a bit longer um, and helping us catch up um, but Either way, we're just rolling with it now. We do play a Delmise. We can go down the Delmise route if we want um, we do play Verizian still and Verizian um, hits 130 with a sensitive blade So if we still get two two uh, more Lorantis that we're hitting 170 Which means we're still getting the one hit KO on the executor However, with them having a Lorantis promo out now They just need a choice band and they're one hit well, they're one hit KOing my Verizian, which is kind of scary So I don't like the idea of bringing a Verizian out now So I think we need to just try and find a way to get another Lorantis promo out or Lorantis GX Just something um, and I think we have to go for downwise, uh, just just looking at it now. Rescue Stretcher is kind of perfect. I'm actually just going to Rescue Stretch for one Fomantis here. Uh, that's great. It gets us the Fomantis that we we're looking for. Um, that's good news. And if we... I kind of want to attach the energy to the benched Fomantis because if we Cynthia now and find another Fomantis, that'd be fantastic. Uh, and I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope that we find another Fomantis because that just gives us... A way to what well, we did get in Nestle, and that's good. And we have a Lorantis GX that, that actually gets me quite excited, so that's good news. Um, now we can't go for I would love right now to flower supply um, and KO this, but we just can't. You know, it'd be great right now if we could hit 100 damage of flower supply because we can charge up the, the Fermentus there, but that's that's fine. We're just going to roll with it here, hold our hand because our hand is looking pretty good. Go for a solar blade, doesn't really matter if we heal ourselves not too important now if we want we can actually go for a gx attack next turn to hit 100 damage or 140 with these extra Lorantis out and we could actually take out their Lorantis promo and that seems pretty good um i don't want to take out their Lorantis promo because regardless they're just going to keep yeah they're just going to keep throwing out these alone executors and they're just going to keep coming um so i think we need to take out the Lorantis so we can go with a verizian um if we do not lose because all they need to do is take two more prizes which is not great um so thinking about it strategically we could take up the Lorantis, but the same what I, look i think what i said earlier still holds unfortunately they've got the perfect board state um they've got executors out they've got energy out they just are in a very good spot and i just think they because they got ahead of us uh, uh got ahead of the curve um for lack of a better term there um so early it's just it's just making us fall behind, unfortunately. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Um, got Ultra Ball away, the Field Blower, and the Zev Striker. And get ourselves a. What can we get? Delmise? Oh, yeah. We do need the Lorantis, don't we? Um, we don't have a Delmise. All right. We're just going to roll with the Lorantis here. Let's get that. We're definitely going for a Guzma this turn. Yeah, I agree with the Guzma. And we're going to GX. Wait, how much are we hitting with Flower Supply? Flower Supply, we're hitting 80. Um, so we're not hitting 100 damage. And we need to get rid of that Lorantis. So we are going to GX attack this turn. And, we, and then we're going to go for a, a Sprint as well. So we'll do that. And uh, we could we could, we could, could do this. We could do this. Uh, we actually can do this, um, thinking about it. As long as we can retreat Lorantis. Oh, that's good news. 
Um, and I'm actually gonna ultra ball the these guys away and drop down. I think a Verizian. Um, that'll be good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the Verizian out and go for our GX attack. Well, we could flower supply. We could flower supply and hope that they don't have retreat. They've used they've used no Guzmas. They've used no switches. Yes, we take an extra prize, but flower supply gets this Verizian charged up. Oh, that's a tough call. That's a really tough call. Oh, that's really tough. All right, uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna flower supply. This is really bad, but I'm gonna do it. Hmm. Because the GX is just going to come up and two hit KO us. Even if we retreat, we just can't hold off. Yeah, we have to flower supply. We're going to flower supply. We're going to do it. Oh, that was tough. That was really tough. We're going to flower supply uh, here. And we're actually going to put both on the Verizian. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to do that because we still have a GX attack available if we want. Um, we just got to hope that they don't have a way of leaving, leaving the active spot right now. Um, looking at the hand, they probably do. So... Just have to wait and see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I really, uh, really want to be able to take this deck down. I did want to take the Lorantis. I did really want to take the Lorantis down. <clears throat> but if we get an extra turn where we can do that with another like flower supply, oh, that'd be fantastic because we can just follow up with uh, Lorantis. We could just go out with our own Lorantis and go for a, for a solar beam, right? Um, and that way we could actually just you know, drag out the game where they have, we force them to take uh, the two prizes individually rather than coming out with a GX, we could charge up. No, so they got the Guzma and if they've got, ah, wow, okay. So they're just, they're gonna take out Lorantis anyway. I think they've identified that it, they, we can one-shot them because of it. Uh, we'll promote the Zev Striker. Let's see what's going on with the card we draw with our top deck. And uh, let's just see, let's see what's going on. So Guzma. Guzma, Guzma, Guzma. We could Guzma and take out the Lorantis. I'm going to do that. Yeah, because we can Verizian, take out the Lorantis, get a prize, and they are not going to one-shot us unless they pull a Kukui and a Choice Band. We can go for the Lorantis and take him out, and that's actually less likely for them to, to, to get the KO. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to come out with the Lorantis GX and take out the Lorantis promo. Now we're going to flower supply and put one energy on the active Lorantis. Yeah, and then we'll put one energy on this Lorantis here just because we have nowhere else to put it. That way we take a prize um, and they can't one hit KO us and we can retreat into the um, Verizian and then try and find a way to get a KO, which is unlikely. So my camera did just cut out now, so... You're going to have to, get, unfortunately, roll through this now with no face cam. Um, I really don't want to end this video just because the face cam has come off. It's it's really entertaining, um, this. So I want to keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Bear with me. Bear with me. We are approaching the end anyway. So we're going to hold on to this. Uh, yeah. Lorant is going to get hit. We're going to retreat it and just hope they don't have a Guzma for game. That's what we're going to do. Um, huh. Rescue stretch, so they're definitely going to get that Lorantis back. So they can actually grow Val now and get it out the next turn. So uh, now I'm not very comfortable getting a Verizian out there because they can just one-shot it with a choice band next turn. So that's a bit scary. What's going on in the discard pile? How many choice bands have they played? They've played none. Um, they played no choice bands. So, And I know this deck plays like two or three. So odds are they have game next turn if we retreat into the Verizian. And if we stay with the Lorantis, it's also game. So I think them being able to recover that that uh, Lorantis was uh, pretty crucial. Um, so hats off to them there. I think it is game. I think it is game. That was interesting nonetheless. Uh, we just that's just the way it goes, unfortunately. Let's let's just let's just see what we get after this uh, off this sprint, and we'll just we'll play the game out. Um, uh, oh, we could Kukui. Hey, 
Uh, I mean, technically, <laughs> sensitive blade 130. Could, could, we could get a KO if I'm. Well, to be fair, I don't know. My mass is terrible. Now, I know we could use our GX attack, but they'll just come up and one hit KO us. It makes no difference, right? It's, it's, we're fed of one hit KOing us regardless. Oh, let's just go for it. Let's just kick QE and sensitive blade and just. Yeah, there we go. Hey, we managed to take another executor out. So. I think we would have definitely given this deck a run for its money if we just set up earlier and they didn't just, you know, draw flames. <laughs> because they got it, they set up real well. Real, real well. All right, so they just need a choice banana for Mantis and that's pretty much it. Now we can even drag it out further if they don't have the, the, the choice band, which is very unlikely, uh, we can manually retreat and just attack with the Rantis. <laughs> And just be like, look, you're going to fight. Although, if we manually retreat into Laurentis, we just give them the game because Laurentis is 100 HP, right? We'd have to retreat into this, but then there's no energy on it. So maybe we should have started loading this thing up rather than the Laurentis. <laughs> they did whiff. They did whiff. They did whiff. They did indeed whiff. Uh -huh, I see no root here. Let's drop the Lele and see. Do we have like a Guzma? I doubt it. I think we've used a lot of Guzmas. Yeah. Oh my god, it's just all supporters. I'm not going to take anything regardless. Um, I'm trying to sit here and go, is there any way? Like, we, we could we could breeze away GX, but that doesn't do anything. Um, we don't know. <laughs> if only we had, like, a, a rainbow energy, we could we could top you cure GX and just heal <laughs> our bench Pokemon, which would be crazy. Uh, I think that's just game. I'm, I'm trying my best to think how. It's just not happening. It's just... It's just not happening. It's just no. Nah, it's it's game. Well, we'll 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 just we'll just roll with it and just go for the sensitive blade. Let them let them have it. Say uh, well played, GG. Um, we did put up a fight though. We did put up a fight towards the end. Um, and to be fair, this was a very entertaining video. We had that Guzzlord. Um, we had the Gardevoir, which just flopped, and then we've got this little Executor deck, which uh, we definitely had a fun fight against. Nonetheless, let me show you the full list. Um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below on this particular list And I think in the next episode we'll be leaving um, Temporarily we'll be leaving uh, What's the what's the deck called again? Lorantis. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be leaving grass type Pokemon and we'll be going somewhere else And then we might come back to grass because I've got another grass deck that I find quite fun to play Right, so the full list Here it is. Maybe 10 energy is a bit too much um, maybe nine would be well to be fair I think ten is quite comfortable um, but we could get some more nest balls thinking about it because we did struggle to get stuff out even though we do have the lecture I think maybe drop a great ball yeah I'm going to drop a great ball at a nest ball I think that's better um, the acrobikes are there to help get rid of the um, grass energy if we need to because it's, it's just it's crucial for flower supply uh, to do that but anyway, this is what the deck looks like. I'm quite happy with its construction. I think it's pretty consistent. It's got um, a good draw support line. It's got a good damage output, good healing. It's just a great deck overall. Again, I did say that you could replace the choice band with bodybuilding dumbbells to give Lorantis some more tankiness. However, um, the choice bands can go a long way. Um, but anyway, with that said, um, do leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. Of course, subscribe for more. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.